Dear students, let us continue our learning on the course Automata Theory and Computability. We are in the sixth session of the module 4. The topics covered under this session are description of Turing machine and techniques for Turing machine constructions, which involves moving with the stationary head, then the subroutine. Fine. Myself, Dr. Suresh Adi from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of Kendra Engineering College, Bantwal, Mangalore. First one, the description of a Turing machine. The transition function delta was described as a partial function. Sigma q upon tau will give us q upon tau along with that one, the moment will be left or the right. So, is not defined for all q on x by spelling out the current state. The input symbol and the resulting state. The tape symbol replacing the input symbol and the moment of read right head to the left or the right. We can call this a formal description of a Turing machine. That is the Turing machine which upon taking the tape symbol tau will make a transition to an state along with the either we may go for replacing the tau symbol that is the tape symbol or we may retain the symbol as it is and with that one we need to have a moment either it may be on the left or it may be on the right. So just as we have the machine language or the high level language for a computer, we can have a high level description for the implementation description. In this case, we can describe the moment of the head, the symbol stored, etc. in English. For example, a single instruction like move to write till the end of the input string. Instead of having writing a single single transitions, we can directly state it as move to write till the end of the input string. Or else we can state it as a move to the left till the end of the input string. So this which requires several moves which can be stated in a simple English statement. A single instruction in the implementation description is equivalent to several moves of a standard Turing machine. At a higher level we can give instructions in English language even without specifying the state or transition functions. Such and descriptions we call it as a high level description of the Turing machine. That is we can use our English statement for the description of the Turing machine. It can be stated as, as an example they have given move to write till the end of the input string. So like that we can use our standard English for the notation or the representation of the transition function. So which is termed as the high level description. The next will be the techniques for Turing machine constructions. There are several techniques are there under that one. The first one is a Turing machine with a stationary head. So till now as we have observed the Turing machine should have a moment of either the left or the right. We, call, we Till now we have not described any Turing machine which will remain stationary, which will remain at the same location by, but it will change the tape content. So till now if if it is supposed to be a tape and we are there in an assume this is my head is a pointing at the symbol is a A, the state is Q0. So we used to describe it as a Q0 on A, Q0 on A. So either I may change the state, let it be Q1, then A I will change to X, then I need to give the moment either the left or the right. So this was mandatory. So that is we need to have the moment of the head. The moment can be in left moment or the moment can be in right moment. Both the options were possible. right? But we can't have the stationary. So that will be the invariant to the Turing machine. That is the we can have a Turing machine with the stationary head. That is along with the left and the right we can have the stationary. That is we won't move at all. Which is nothing but which is nothing but we move one position right and one position left or we move one position left and one position right. So these two are equivalent in place of having the stationary. Stationary means we need to return at the same location. To return at the same location either 
with the current existing standard mission we can have the left and the right moment or the right and the left moment so which will keep the head stationary over there fine right? so you can see the example which is present over here q on a i am change i want to return as a q dash but a i want to change to y the rest of the things are same w on the x remains the same that is the, i want to return at the same location but i want to change the state and i want to change the symbol i want to change the state and i want to change the symbol but i want to return at the same location so this can be done with the help of the right left moment you can see over here q upon a we change to a is replaced with the y and q is moved to change to q double dash and we will have a right moment again q double dash on the x we will have the moment as left moment x i will return as it is but i will change the state to q dash and i have a left moment that is right one time we moved right and the second time we moved left so which will keep the head stationary which will keep the head stationary that is this can be written as q upon a is we change the q to q dash a is changed to y and the direction we used to specify it as a left right or the stationary stationary means we won't make the moment instead just the state and the symbol are changed but the head remains at the same location that is nothing but a turing machine with the stationary head that is the head we will not move head we will not move for that symbol then the next one storage in a state so till now we are using a state whether it is a finite state machine or the pde or the turing machine to remember the things so if you remember our uh, strings ending with a b b let us take a finite state machine example strings ending with a b b so we will write a q not upon a i will go to the state q1 so that is if i am in q1 means i see in the symbol a that is it is used for remembering the input symbol it is used for remembering the thing in the same way if we go for our pda over there so that is uh, we will have the push or the pop operation how we will write a q not on a so stack content we will ignore epsilon then q not upon a then i will change the state to q1 then i will push it to the stack so once i am in q1 means i have seen the input symbol a i am in q1 means i have seen the input symbol a fine that is even the pda is used for in the state in the pda is used for remembering the things so the same thing if we go for our turing machine so q not i will have the transition on the a that a i can return it as it is or i will change to some other symbol and i will have the right moment but change the state to q1 so that is i am in a state q1 means what i have seen the symbol a i have seen the symbol a that is uh, the states are used for remembering in case of whether it is a finite state machine or it is a pda or it is a turing machine in all these cases the states are used for say the remembering the things so we can use the state to store the symbol as well as so that the state becomes a pair q on a q is the state in the usual sense and a is the tape symbol so then we will remember it as a q upon a will be the new set of states it becomes q cross your tau fine so for doing this one let us take one simple example of constructing a turing machine for the language 0 1 star or 1 0 star so plus indicates or operation so either i need to have 0 1 star or or is nothing but your union symbol that is a plus indicates your or operation 1 0 star so how this can be implemented how we can use how we can use the state to remember the things so here we have to construct a Turing machine that remembers the first symbol and checks that is uh, does not appear afterwards. That is what a zero one star means. Why if I get a zero at the beginning, I should not have the next zero. If I get one at the beginning, I should not have the next one. That is once the first symbol should not be repeated. 
the first symbol should not be repeated so how we can do this one how we can do this one so now we require the two states over here q0 and the q1 the tape symbols are 0 and the 1 0 and the 1 along with that one b indicate the blank symbol over there so now the turing machine having the storage facility it will be like this the states are q0 q1 input symbols are 0 1 b that is your tape symbols input symbols are 0 1 tape symbols are 0 1 and the blank delta is your transition function input will be this one it is our accepting state so in the initial state in the initial state m is in the q0 the machine is in the q0 and it has a b in the data portion on seeing the first symbol of the input string m move toward the right side that is on seeing the first symbol first symbol can be 0 or the 1 <coughs> first symbol can be 0 or the 1 on first seeing the first symbol it enters the state q1 fine the first symbol let it be c a fine it has been seen the next one now m is in a state q1 a q1 a if its next symbol is b so a that is why we are taking the complement of a complement of a is b then m enters an accepting state m enters an accepting state if the next symbol is a itself m holds without reaching the final state without reaching the final state that is if the next symbol is a a dash only then we have a moment then only then we will make a moment without changing the state so now the step 2 is repeated for all the cases of q1 b so a they have taken for any symbol 0 or the 1 b is nothing but your complement of the a that is your if it is a 0 then it should be 1 if it is a 1 then it should be 0 then it should be 0 fine that is the step 2 will be repeated and if it reaches if it holds at the q1 blank then the mission will halt and it will announce that it is accepted or else it is going to be get rejected over there fine next multiple track turing machine so in case of multiple track turing machine till now what we learned they all comes under a single tape so we learned only the single tape in the design of the turing machine now let us divide that tape into the multiple tracks so this was the tape earlier we used to have a single tape and we used to take a symbol single symbol over there so now that tape is divided into n number of tracks the tape is divided into n number of tracks and let the symbols be here it will be a1 a2 a3 a4 then while defining the transition that is in general if we have the k symbols it will be ak that is the transitions will be done for the tau power of k that is a q will be your state cross your tau power of a k will be your transitions fine so such will be such a design we call it as the multiple track turing machine fine don't get confused with the multi tape turing machine which will be discussed in the next video this is multiple track turing machine a single tape is there that tape is divided into n number of tracks so in case of the turing machine defined earlier we used to have a single tape which was used in a multiple track turing machine a single tape is assumed to be divided into several tracks now the tape alphabet is required to consist of k tuples of tape symbols k being the number of tracks hence the only difference between that standard turing machine and that to multi track turing machine is a set of tape symbols in the case of standard Turing machine, tape symbols are the elements of tau. In the case of a Turing machine with a multiple track, we used to have the tau power of k. The movements are defined in the similar way how it was defined for the standard Turing machine. But here, earlier we used to have q cross tau, it will be written for the standard Turing machine. Here it will be written as a q cross tau power of k. That is k symbols should be matched to move to the next step to move to the next next moment that is the left or the right moment we need to have the k symbols to be matched over there that is your multi track turing machine then the next one will be the subroutine so subroutine are used in the computer languages they are also called as a procedure so they are used when you want to you want a function to be used repeatedly 
that is if it is to be called or used multiple times then we go for the concept of uh, subroutines over there fine right? here the same application can be used over here if i designed a turing machine for a basic application that can be extended so that uh, any number of times the same function can be used so this is demonstrated with the help of the multiplication of the two positive integer so multiplication is not meant that 2 cross 3 equal to 6 not like this instead of this one if i have a 1 1 1 or if i have let me take the same example what they are taking in the textbook i have the two zeros over here i have the three zeros on this side so if i multiply these two if i multiply these two then this is 0 power of 2 this is 0 power of 3 i want the result as a 6 zeros over here i want the result as a 6 zeros that demonstration is done that demonstration is explained with the help of the subroutine over here right so if we go with the definition of it so we know that subroutines are used in computer languages when some task has to be done repeatedly we can implement this facility for turing machine as well first a turing machine program for the subroutine is written this will be an initial state and a return state after reaching the return state there is a temporary halt for using a subroutine new states are introduced when there is a need for calling the subroutines moves are affected to enter the initial state for a subroutine when the return state of the subroutine is reached and the return to the main program of a turing machine we use this concept to design a turing machine for performing multiplication of a two positive integers example design a turing machine which can multiply two positive integers let us go for the solution of it here let me take the example then i will come to this one so here let us take the example has 0 power m then their second number is 0 power n they are separated by one let us assume fine okay. so now what we will do is first we design a function for copying first we design a function for copying and that function is used used for the implementation fine okay. so let me first let me design the function for copying first let me take the symbols as a, here the second part i am taking triple zero so these things i want to have a copy i want to copy this one to the end so how it will be done fine right? so assume they are preceded with the one over there so one is in barricade we can say so one is a barricade for the copying function so now what we will do first we start from this zero so first zero i will will replace let me replace with that two and i will go to the right end and i will replace that blank with the zero again i will come back second zero i will replace with the two again i will go to the end the last blank i will replace with the zero again i will come back next zero i will replace with the two then the again i will go forward the blank i will replace with a zero again i will come back so once i get my one so one is the barricade that i have finished then i will return back by making these twos to zeros then i will halt so now what is the result of this one 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so what we have done here is a copy function so that is we design the copy function and the same thing is used for the multiplication first we design the copy function then the same thing is used for the design function how this can be designed how the copying function can be designed first what we will do is first we start from the q1 let me start from the q1 over here i will start from the q1 so once i get my first zero 
I will replace that one with 2 and I will move toward the right side. I will move toward the right side. So then I will change the state to Q2. That is only in one time I need to replace a single symbol. So I am making the transition to the Q2 over there. So now on Q2, what are all the possibilities I can have? I can have the next zeros I can come or the ones I can get. So for both the zeros and the ones, I won't change anything. I won't change anything. I will just make the right movement. So zero, I will return as it is. And I will just make the right movement. One also, I will return as it is. And I will make the right movement over there. So once I get the blank, once I get the blank, the first blank, I will make it as a zero. And I will have the left movement over there because I need to search for the, I need to come to the left position and the second zero, I need to make it as two. So, and I will change the state to Q3. So, on my way of returning, on my way of returning, I can get the symbols as one. If I get an one, one, I will return as it is and the left moment, zero, I will return as it is and the left moment. Once, well, what is the end pointer over here? 2. So that is the first 0. I made it as 2 over there. 2 is my end pointer over here. Next to the 2, again, I need to have the 0. Next to the 2 will be the 0. So next, I will do as a, the next 2. Once I get the 2, that 2 I will return as it is. But I will have the right moment over there because Q1 will, Q3 will come over here. Here in this position, the Q3 will come. So now I will change here again to q1 over there i will change back to the q1 fine right? so now this iteration what it will do it will do till here that is every time it will make the first zero for the one on the left side as the two it will go to the right side the blank it will make it as zero again it will go back once it will get the two again reset to q1 that q1 what it will do the zero it will make it as two again it will go to the right end and it will make the 0 as blank as the 2, 0. Then again it will come back, next 0 it will make it as 2, again it will go forward, next blank it will make it as a 0. Again it will come back, after 2 we have the 1 over here, after 2 we have the 1, means we have ended the copying. We have ended the copying, we need to reset all the 2's to the zeros. So that will be done in the next step, so that is a Q1 on 1. Q1 on 1 I am getting means I have completed my zeros. I have completed my zeros. In that case, 1 I will retain as it is and I will have the left movement over there. I will have the left movement and I will change the state to the next state. Next, let the next state be Q4. Next state be Q4. On Q4, so all the 2's I will replace with a 0. 2, I will replace with a 0 and I will have the left movement. So now all the twos are replaced. So what is there at the end? At the end here, all what is there? One is there. So that once I get that one means, once I get that one means I completed my iteration. So once I get that one, I will have the right moment and I will change the state to the Q4. So this is my function which will do the copying work. So this is my function which will do the copying work. Fine. So now th this will be your uh, subroutine. Now this is your subroutine. Now this subroutine I need to extend for the multiplication operation. This subroutine I need to extend for the multiplication operation. So which can be implemented in this way. So now let me have the two zeros over here. Let me have the two zeros over here. So now it is a preceded with the one. Now it is preceded with the one. So now I need to multiply this one. So how it can be done? Fine. So simple way. So the first zero I will take. I will make it blank. First zero I will take. I will make it blank. So after getting this one, I will change the state to Q1. So which will copy these three zeros over here. these three zeros over there. So now this will copy and it will again it will come back and it will halt over here right. So at the Q5 it will halt. First copy. So again we will 
define some transitions so that it will go back and make the second zero as a blank and again it will have the right shape. So what happens again these things it will be copied again. These things it will be copied again. Again it will come back. So once it will go back now it found that it has completed then we are going to halt. This is the logic what we are applying that is the repetitive copying. Repetitive copying function we are using for the multiplication operation. Repetitive copying function we are using for the multiplication for demonstrating the multiplication operation. So how this will be done? Fine. So let me start with the start state as a Q0. Let me start with the start state as a Q0. So Q0 this I am processing for the first case here. So here I we are starting from the Q1. Here we are started from the Q1. So this we are starting from the Q0. So Q0 and the first zero. Q0 the first zero. I will make the first zero as blank. And I will have the right moment over there. And I will change the state to Q6. Q6 means how many zeros I have seen. One zeros I have seen. Means one time I need to copy this entire thing. On the second zero, second time I need to copy this entire thing. Right? So th that is, a, I am in Q6 means I have seen one zero. So now I need to go for the copying function. So when I need to start copying, once I get this one. Once I get this one, I need to start my copying. So till that time, if I have any number of zeros, I need to be there in the Q6 only. I need to be there in the Q6 only. Then once I get the one, once I get the one, that one also I will return as it is and I will do the right output. So now this is my, this is my actual copy function, right? So this is my actual copy function. So which will uh, copy one time. So this is my copy. So this will uh, copy the entire thing. So once the copying is done, we are ended at the Q5. So we have ended at the Q5. So now again, I need to go back. Again, uh, I need to go back. So now after copying, what is this one? So here we have ended in a scenario. We have ended in the scenario like this, right? So that is one time it is copied means this is made as a blank. 0, 1. This will be Q5. This will be Q5. Then the copying side, it is the three zeros. 1 and the three zeros. One time we have copied. So now again I need to go back and I need to blank the, I need to blank the next 0. I need to blank the next zero. So now what we have, I need to go back. Oh, how to go back? Q5 on zero, first transition. I need to define it to go to the left side, right? So that is a Q5 on zero. I need to retain that zero as it is, but I need to have the left moment and I will change the state to Q7. Q6 I have used, so I will use the state Q7 over there. So now in the state Q7, so now I will go here. So what is my state now? Q7. So now on the Q7, what I am getting a 1. Again, I need to go back. Again, I need to go back till I get the blank. Till I get the blank, I need to go back. So Q5 on 1 again. Q5 on 1. So 1 as it is. And I need to have the left moment over there. Fine. So now I will change the state to Q8. I change the state to Q8. So now on Q8, on Q8 I need to, what I need to do, I need to keep on going. Here I have used just a single zero. So now I will be there in this location with zero on next. When I, it can be any number of zeros. I have taken the simple implementation of two zeros. It can be of any number of zero. For that one I will define one more transition. Let it be Q9. Let it be Q9. So 0, I will retain the 0 as it is and I will have the left moment over there. And I will have the left moment. I will have the left moment again. Now in the Q9. So if I get any number of zeros, I will write here. So 0, I will have any number of zeros, I will have the left moment. How long? Till I get the blank. 
So till I get the blank. So once I get my blank, I need to reset to Q0. So once I get my the blank, I will reset it to Q0. So blank, that blank also as it is, but the next zero is there on the right side. So I will make the right moment. I will make the right moment. Right? So now this will, now this will, so what it will do again? So Q0, it will stay, take up. So it will take up the Q0 from here. Again, the next zero will be made a blank. And these three, these three will be copied here. These three will be copied here. Again, it will go back. So and the blank, so it will come to this location. It will come to this location. Right? So now what we are getting, we are getting. So here we will blank on zero. We will get. So now the next iteration will come. Right? So in the next iteration. So these things will be copied. So now while going back, fine. So now here we have the Q, Q8 will come over here, fine. That is once I get here blank. So now it will be the Q8 will come. So this Q8. So when we go to this Q8 after processing these zeros, this zero we have seen. So this zero we have seen and we will go to the this zero we have seen and this zero we will go back and we will erase the rest of the things. So now we have done the, our multiplication work. Now we have done our multiplication work. Now the rest of the things I need to erase. Now the rest of the things whatever I have in the previous route those things I need to erase. So for erasing that one for erasing that one. So now here, all the zeros, no zeros are there. So if I get a zero, then I will need to move left here. Q8 on zero, I need to move left. Now there is a no symbols are there. So now what to do? Now I need to have all the zeros, I made it as the null. I made them as the blank over there. So now the rest of the things I need to erase. So for this one, from Q8. So now on the Q8, if I have the blank that I will replace the blank as it is and I will have the right moment and I will have the right moment, right? So next, because I won't get the blank here, here. So here, I won't get the Q8 on zero. I need to move left. No zeros are there. So now what we have, I have the blank. So now those blanks, now I need to make the rest of these things are blank, but these things are not at blank. So these things are blank, right? So this part, so these things are blank. The rest of the things I need to erase. These things I need to erase, fine. So now for erasing that one, for erasing that one, so once I get the blank at the Q8, now I need to erase these things. For erasing that one, so now we are there at the Q8. So Q8 on blank, blank I will return as it is and the right moment I will have. So now what I will get, I will get this one. I get this one. That one I need to make it as a blank. So now I will change the state to Q9 done. So Q10 will be the state. So on Q10, what will I get? A one. So that one, I will make it as blank and I will have the right moment. So now this one we made as blank. I made the right moment, right? So again, the state will be, let me take the state as Q11. So now these zeros I need to erase. I need to erase these zeros. How to erase that zeros? Sir? So these zeros, zero, I will make it as a blank and I will have the right moment. So now these zeros are also now blank. These zeros are also blank. So I don't want this one, this one. So again, Q1 on 1, <coughs> Q1 on a, Q11, Q11 on a 1, I will make it as a, that 1 also I will make a blank and I will have the right one. So now I am left out with the Q12. So now Q12 is my exercise here. So this one also I made a blank. So here Q12. So now do I done the multiplication? Yes, it is completed. All the things which are there in between, they will be made blank they will be made blank fine so this 
we have extended the copy subroutine for performing the multiplication operation. That is the copy function what we designed the copy function was extended for the multiplication operation that will be the example which is taken over here. Okay. So first q1 and 0, 0 I will replace with 2 right moment. Then the q2, q2 and 0 keep on moving for 1 also keep on moving. Once you get the blank you replace that blank with the 0 and the left moment. So now on the Q3, Q3 you keep on moving left side. How long? Till you get your 2. Once you get the 2, you reset that one to Q1 again. Reset to Q1. Then next, Q4. When will you get a Q4? When I completed my Q1 on 1. Means when I completed the first part, all the zeros are converted to 2. Then only I will get a Q1 on 1. In that case, change the state to Q4. So now in the Q4 state, the 1 you retain it as it is change the state to 1, you retain it as it is and the 2's you convert it to 0, 2's you convert it to 0 and you stop on the Q4. So now this function, this is the subroutine function which is, will copy the thing. These are three zeros, one was there, these three zeros will be copied over here. Now we, we ended in the Q5. Now we ended in the Q5. This is your copy function. So this is extended here. So this is extended for the multiplication. So how we will do? So the first we start from the Q0. First 0 will make it as blank and we will change the state to Q6. Q6 we keep on moving. Once we get 1, from there we need to start copy. So that is Q1 is called. So Q1 is your old one. So Q1 is this one. So we will call the copy function. Right? So after copying we end up in the Q5. So now in the Q5 as I told earlier, we will have the 0 over there. So Q, that is after copying, if you observe. So after first copying, here this is Q5, 1. Here the first 0 was made a blank. The second 0 was there. Q5 and 0. So Q5 and 0 change the state to Q7 and have the left moment. Then Q7 here we will get. Q7 on 1. Q7 on 1 change the state to Q8 and the left moment. So Q8, Q8 on a 0, change the state to Q9 and the left moment. So if you have any more zeros, you keep on moving the left side. Then once you get the blank, you change the state to Q0 and you have the right moment. So now again you reset to Q. So now what this will do, again it will repeat the same operation. So now this will be blank, blank, then 1, then it will be at the end you will have the Q5, 0, 0, 0, 1. This again the three zeros were copied here, three zeros were copied, right? Now we have the result over here. But these things in between I have so many things, right? So these things I may need to make them as blank. So that will be done with the help of next, you can look, right? So next, Q5 on a 0, it is a different. So Q5 on a 0, it is a Q7. So next, Q7 on 1, it is a Q7 on a year. Q5 on 1 is 0 is different. So now it is Q7 on 1. So Q7 on 1, it is a Q8. So now I will come here. Now it is Q8 on the blank. So Q8, Q8 on the blank. So this is where you are going back. So on the blank. So this is your blank. So Q8 on the blank, this blank will return as it is and we change the state to Q10. So now the Q10 will come here. So Q10 it will come here means what? We have done with the first part. So this part is finished. First part is finished. The rest of the part, the second part, you need to make a blank for that reason. So Q10. So now from the Q10. So Q10 on 1. This 1, I will make it as blank. So I will make it as blank. I will change the state to Q11. So now Q11. So now it is a Q11 here. So these three zeros. These three zeros, I will make it as blank. So this will be converted to blank. Blank, blank, blank. Then next, Q11 on 1. Q11 on this one you make this one also blank. So change the state to Q12. So Q12 and this will be my result. So this will do the multiplication work. This will do the multiplication work. That is a copy function is used for performing the multiplication by repetitive copying. By the repetitive copying. Fine. So this is what all about the subroutine. That is we can use the subroutine and we can extend the subroutine for the reusability. Work. So we can go for the reusing the copy function for performing the multiplication operation. Right? The references for this 
video are taken from the textbook ALP Mishra N. Chandrasekharan, 3rd edition, Theory of Computer Science, PHI 2012. Thank you.